top 10 worst fallout vaults ranked from least to most messed up let's go if you guys don't already know by the way uh outside xbox love outside xbox i've been watching them for fucking years bro i love these dudes um by the way thank you to frogs uh watching if you guys enjoy this you're safe if we drop a like and a sub uh if you want to come watch me live sometime second link in the description will be the link uh, to my Twitch come through. The first link will be the original video if you want to check that out instead of watching my video. Okay, cool. If you're watching the Fallout TV show, you might think that these subterranean vault tech vaults, ostensibly there to keep people safe from radioactive devastation on the surface, aren't as safe as promised. The vault suits, however, to die for. You can be a hero by purchasing a residence in a vault tech vault today. Because if the worst should happen tomorrow, the world is going to need you to build a better day after. That's Italian dressing? It, oh. though, because as we've discovered over and over in the Fallout video games, the vaults have a sinister secondary purpose. What? They're social experiments sponsored by the government and vault tech to see how people react to different situations in a controlled environment. And let me tell you, these experiments extremely f***ed up. Vault tech <laughs> destroyed my life. Vault tech can burn for all I care. Here are the 10 worst Fallout oh. vaults in order of increasing f***ed upness, and all of them so bad we'd rather take our chances in the wasteland. Enjoy! <laughs> 10. Vault 114. Tormenting rich people. Oh, boy. I'm interested to hear this one. This is the one Elon Musk is going in, bruh. Vault 114, visited in Fallout 4, was created to house Boston's social elite in the case of atomic war. Its residents were promised luxury accommodation where they would mingle with only the cream of Massachusetts society. But as you can see, the accommodation is the opposite of luxurious. In fact, Vault 114 was designed to be as cramped and uncomfortable as possible, with whole families crammed into single rooms, shared bathrooms, and minimal comforts to test how these previously financially advantaged folks would cope with what vault Tech describes as stressful situations. <laughs> <laughs> the final vault tech flourish was the appointment of the Overseer, who was a crazy person named Soup Can Harry. What? Mr. Um, Soup Can, would you mind telling me why you're distrustful of the government? I've seen what they do. Gum up the works with red tape and bureaucracy, take every hard-earned cent and use it to fund their Illuminati, Freemason sex parties. Yes, put him in charge. Oh. Dude sounds like some fucking, uh leaders at a church I used to work at. Also, vault -Tech staff were specifically told not to undermine his authority just because it would be funny, I guess. I ain't wearing no goddamn tie. Or pants. Sadly, <laughs> we don't know how the reign of Soup Can Harry would have panned out because Vault 114 was unfinished and we don't know if any residents actually made it inside before the bombs dropped. Still, Aww. Harry seemed to be basically unkillable, so he probably did okay. I seen the back of them Abraxo boxes. Not for consumption? Don't you tell me what to do. I'll eat what I want. Maximum adversity, okay. Man, good luck if you're put into Vault 108, where the experiment seems to have been, let's see how much ridiculous sh** people can put up with until they die. What? Officially, the premise of Vault 108, seen here in Fallout 3, was to observe conflict for leadership and power. The Vault's overseer was intentionally chosen to be someone like- Me as a two-year-old when I ate glass? Josh. You're kidding, right? ...to die soon after the vault was sealed, the main power supply was scheduled to break 20 years into the experiment, and the backup power supply was designed to not work properly. Also, the vault was stocked with three times the usual amount of guns and no entertainment at all. What? You can see what they were going for here. Ah, Gary. What the vault tech brainiacs surely didn't predict was the actual outcome, in which a vault resident named Gary used the vault cloning lab to... Cl Gary! ...clone himself a bunch of times. These Gary clones then murdered everyone else, so Vault 108 eventually became entirely populated by identical men, all screaming Gary at the top of their lungs. <laughs> Gary! So, an unexpected result there. I guess the <laughs> Vault experiments were worthwhile after all. Nobel prizes all round. Dude, I gotta play Fallout 3, bro. I gotta play that shit so pep, bro. You were putting up the Christmas tree, and you found an ornament and took a bite out of it? Oh my god. No wonder why your stomach's so fucked up, bro. The what division? Vault 19 in the Mojave Wasteland in Fallout New Vegas was part of a vault tech experiment to see if the vault dwellers themselves could do all the hard work required to drive everyone crazy. This 
was achieved by selecting subjects who were already paranoid, then segregating them into two completely arbitrary groups. Oh, this, this vault's just a psych ward, bro. This vault is literally just a psych ward. Red and blue, then limiting contact between the groups. The what? first time a pipe bursts in the blue sector, it was naturally blamed on the reds, and so begins the descent into intravault conflict, as evidenced by the wild, paranoid ramblings you find all over the place. Some of the computers still work, but the only files are diaries and garbage. Typical vault. The fate of Vault 19's in Another random story is when I was like three, I sat on a rock next to my mom, and that shit was a fire anthill. They swarmed my ass. Oh, brother. Oh, man, you were not the brightest star in the sky when you were a kid. My bad, let me, let me rephrase that. You were not the sharpest crayon in the box when you were a kid, huh? <laughs> I ain't got... Got back at the ops yet, but they better watch their ass. Oh, that's funny. That's a funny pun you got there. Mm. Their ass, for real? Like they swarmed yours? Inhabitants is unknown, but we're guessing it was less that they overcame their differences and all lived happily ever after, and more, they all killed each other. Another scientific success for vault -Tec. Dude. Vault 81 making people sick on purpose? Oh, brother. Vault 81 from Fallout 4 was designed to help scientists develop a universal cure for all diseases. Oh? Obviously, vault -Tec wanted to do this in as dickish a way as possible, <laughs> so they built two Vault 81s, one for scientists and one for regular people that the scientists could infect with diseases and watch 24-7 through two-way mirrors. Oh, what? Real nice, Holt. Make this about you. Don't you think about anyone other than yourself? Luckily for the residents of Vault 81, their overseer wasn't what you'd call vault Tech material in that she had a conscience. Oh. When the vault was due to be sealed, she sabotaged the phone list so that hardly any of the scientists made it into the vault before it closed, and the three scientists who did make it in were cut off from the residents and trapped for good on the science side of the vault divide. Oh, so Vault shit. 81 turned out pretty well in the end, no thanks to vault Tech. Unless you were one of the scientists, I guess, although they did create a French doctor robot over there, and she finally succeeded in creating the universal cure they were after. So, mission accomplished. I am pleased to report I completed my primary duties 83 years ago. I'm sure these scientists- Dude, that's so cool. I didn't even know about that vault. I'm gonna have to go check it out, dude. I didn't know that there was any vaults in Fallout. I guess this is just me not fucking playing enough Fallout games. I didn't know there was any, or like, exploring enough. I didn't know there was any vaults that you could find- that were like active and alive, you know, at least in three, four, and uh, New Vegas. Graves are very proud. All 92 mind control. Oh, shit. Your Bluetooth device is ready to pair a robot. The official line on Vault 92 from Fallout 3 is that it was constructed to preserve humanity's greatest musicians. They claim the vault would be dedicated to preserving musical talent. Someone at vault -Tec clearly thought that sounded much too boring and humane, so instead they decided <laughs> to use it to test out the feasibility of using white noise generators to implant subliminal messages with the aim of creating an army of hyper-aggressive super soldiers. What? Who are also really good at violin? Except, and you can probably start to spot the pattern here, the constant- Josh, you cooked. You going into this vault, bro. White noise caused people to go gradually insane. You and Jake. You and Jake are getting cooked in vault fucking 94, whatever this one is. Thane. <sighs> Disaster today. One of our test subjects, B920717, has murdered three other residents in a fit of unbridled rage, the likes of which I've never seen. Over half the vault's population eventually became violently unstable murderers and violently unstably murdered the other half. Who uh. needs new music anyway? We've got Galaxy News Radio, am I right? It's me, Three Dog. How you kids handling post apocalyptia today? <laughs> On 106, six hallucinative. Drugs in the air. Oh, cool. It's weirdly impressive that vault -Tec scientists got as far- Jack can finally get their, um, um, e-waifus. ...as far as Vault 106 before they got bored of cooking up creative ways to send everyone insane and just raided the vault -Tec stationary cupboard for psychoactive drugs. After the vault was sealed- Where is the orgy vault? <laughs> Duckling, thank you for the Lord, bro. Vault 106 dwellers got 10 glorious days of precious sanity before the aforementioned psychoactive drugs were pumped in via the air filtration system. Some of the residents relaxed into a calm, hallucinatory state, but others went violently hat stand. And as the old saying goes, it only takes one bad apple to murder everyone with a pool cue. Hey! If you venture. How did they survive that long? How, 
how long after the bombs dropped was uh fucking all three Vault 106 yourself in Fallout 3, you'll start to suffer the effects yourself, seeing hallucinations of Vault 101 residents as you fend off the insane survivors what? that roam the halls. Although that does introduce the possibility that the rest of the game after this point is one long drug-induced hallucination. Oh. Still, free science bobblehead. Worth it. <laughs> Vault 95 tempting drug addicts. Oh, yeah, sounds about right. Hey, wait, is this in 76? Speaking of drugs, Vault 95 from Fallout 4 is also oh. drug-themed, but crueler, if you could imagine such Oh, a yeah, thing. I think I've been in this At one. At first glance, its goals appear to be noble. The concept was to help rehabilitate drug addicts. Locked in the vault, away from chems, and participating in group therapy... The U.S. vault? Uh, the fucking vaults were all funded by the U.S., so... Vault residents stand the best chance of kicking their habit for good. And even if they can't do it on their own... Oh, yeah, this is the one you take cake to. Sorry, fucking spoilers. The vault comes equipped with a detox chamber that'll do it for them. <sighs> Maybe just put them all in there to begin with? Is this finally a bit of philanthropy from vault Tech? Are they helping some sick people with their problems? Considering it's number four on the top ten worst Fallout vaults ranked from least to most messed up, I'm gonna guess no they did not. What do you think? One of the residents of the vault was actually a vault Tech sleeper agent who, after five years had passed, would open up a secret room full of drugs for all the recovering drug addicts to discover. What? He was then to document his findings, although the fact that there is only one entry in his diary and the fact that everyone is dead in a big pile of drugs kind of shows you how that one turned out. Vault 12, exposure to radiation. Ooh, shit, I'm finna fucking grow a third arm on my belly button. I already got a third leg. My bad. The aim of Vault 12, explored in the original Fallout, was to study the effects of radiation on a sample population. This scientific objective was achieved by the high-tech method of having a shoddy door that didn't close properly. The scientific result was that everyone in Vault 12 died of radiation poisoning or turned into an insane radioactive ghoul. There'd better be a killer reason for standing in my shadow. Uh oh Does next on the menu ring a bell for ya? Normie. Bro, I want to play. Dude, I was literally about to say I want to play the uh, OG Fallouts. Hey, vault -Tec, the effects of radiation on humans were scientifically well understood already, even in the 1950s, let alone the 2070s. Probably didn't need to irradiate over 500 people to see what would happen. Oh, the VR... Oh my god, I remember this shit. You head into Vault 112 in Fallout 3 while looking for your missing dad and quickly discover the residents are all trapped inside a virtual reality simulation of a suburban American neighborhood by a sadistic vault Tech scientist called Dr. Braun. Yay, you did it! Good job! <laughs> a clever approach. I'm not sure I would have considered it. Very encouraging. Or Betty, I guess. Anyway, the Tranquility Lane simulation exists so that Braun can torture the inhabitants to keep himself amused in this post-television world. That's something he'd very much enjoy your help with. If you go along with Braun's scheme, he'll ask you to make kids cry, break up marriages, and kill housewives in as creative a manner as possible. Yikes. This is just the fucking, the fucking Lucia game, bro. After that, subtlety pretty much goes out the window and it's on with the clown mask and out with the butcher knife as you become the pint-sized slasher and carve up everyone in town for Braun's amusement. No, no, please, get away! Or if you'd rather not go along with the torture-obsessed evil murder doctor, you can activate a fail-safe program inside Tranquility Lane's oh. abandoned house, which spawns an invading Chinese army into the street, who will swiftly and efficiently mow everyone down, killing them in real life, and leaving Braun alone in the simulation with no one to torture. What? You've triggered the fail-safe! Ruined everything! The subjects will die, and I'll be stuck here in this hell alone! Okay, now, where's my dad? Oh, he was the dog the whole time. Well, this is awkward. Exactly how many murders did you see me commit, Dad? It's nice to feel that I'm on two legs again. Vault 11 human sacrifice? Oh yeah, that was a boy girl. An official boy girl. At number one, the worst, most effed up of all the Fallout vaults, it's Vault 11. After the door to Vault 11 closed, the inhabitants were told by their overseer that they would have to sacrifice one oh, of their- Oh, I remember this, yeah. Hello, vault dwellers every year, or- Sorry, let me rewind so you guys can hear. 
top of all the Fallout vaults, it's Vault 11. After the door to Vault 11 closed, the inhabitants were told by their overseer that they would have to sacrifice one of their fellow vault dwellers every year, or everyone in the vault would die. Greetings, martyr, and welcome. If you're here now, it means you've been offered up as a sacrifice so that your vault can continue to thrive. Thanks for that, overseer. Guess who was the first sacrifice? After this communal sacrifice, whoever held the position of Overseer was always the one chosen to die, and so elections for Overseer became ruthless, cutthroat affairs which eventually led to blackmail, murder, and finally civil war that killed all but five inhabitants of the Vault. With all the vicious irony of a saw trap, it transpires that the Vault 11 program was actually to test morality against self-preservation. All the Vault dwellers needed to do was refuse to sacrifice anyone in the first place, and the whole deadly experiment would be over. Dick move, vault -Tec. Congratulations, citizens of Vault 11. You have made the decision not to sacrifice one of your own. You can walk with your head held high, knowing that your commitment to human life is a shining example to us all. Despite what you were led to believe, the population of Vault 11 is not going to be exterminated for its disobedience. Instead, the mechanism to open the main vault door has now been enabled and you can come and go at your leisure. Still, at least five people survived unharmed and uncrazy, so partial success? No. Oh. Ready, Harry? Yeah. No, 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 wait! Those were the Fallout... Also, a little lore? <laughs> this is the next Mr. Beast video, holy fuck, Josh. Nah, that's wild. Um... There is speculation that one of the people survived from that vault and they left, and I think they're connected to someone else. They could be someone else, right, it, that you find in the game, weirdly enough, because there's I think there's only four gunshots or something like that. I was watching a fucking video about a lore video. Anyways, W Outside Xbox video. Ooh, Outside Xbox Patreon. Patreon. What we got here? Also, chat, I do have a Patreon. Exclamation Patreon, if you're interested. Vault Tech did such a good job that this list... Has 10 entries instead of 7. Despite only being in Penny Arcade comic, I believe that's 77. The vault with a single man and a load of puppets is canon? Holy fuck. Ironically, Vault 11 is so tragic because it's one of the less overtly cruel ones. The people were far less lab rats than other vaults. The fact that the moral dilemma led to such meaningless violence makes it so tragic. Yeah. The worst and most effed up vault so far. Yep. What's crazy about the White Knolls vault is that's just a real condition millions of people have called tetanitis. Yeah, bro. That shit is crazy. Vault 73 create unstable and violent mutants and hope to control things. 75 uh, Unamics and Logan's run collide and one or one eleven two months of food for staff. Uh, cryogenic hibernation for residents deserves some mention. True. Vault 87, the third Fallout game, is one of the most disturbing vaults in the series. 87 was built to test the effects of forced evolutionary virus, or FEV, for short on humans. Its effects was that it turned people into big green humanoid creatures called super mutants. Oh, there's a terminal in the vault that shows whether people died from the from other... Cases of FEV experimentation, which there were many such deaths. Holy fuck, bro. Yeah, there's there's a bunch of fucked uh, vault experiments. 